Letter to the Editor Episode Number 2 Pleasant day to all my fellow sisters and brothers. I come in the spirit of love. Thanks to the Dominica Breaking News family for sharing the previous episode and to the many patriots who realize the truth when it's presented. Whether red, blue or green, it takes honesty and integrity to speak against injustice. Some so-called laborites will rather go to their graves with a guilty conscience because of a few handouts that they are afraid to lose. This is not patriotism. When I said that I was a proud laborite, I was not referring to what presents itself today as the Labor Party. I am speaking about the true Labor Party of the late Honorable E.O. Leblanc, Rosy Douglas and Pierre Charles. The true Labor Party which truly believed that all shall eat. Anyway, I do not intend to be long. I just want to let the so-called laborites know that you can deny the truth all you want but when the rain falls, it doesn't pick which house to fall on, it falls on every house in its path. I have spoken a few times before but never have I been so outspoken because everyone has a tipping point and the time has come when enough is enough. Don't worry, your time too will come when you shall speak. If Bubbles can speak, Matthew Walters can speak and the late former Speaker of the House can speak, everyone can speak, it's just a matter of time. Might be when your child is deported from the United States for failure by the government to keep its commitment of paying their tuition fees, or when your sick child goes to the hospital and there's no medication and the necessary equipment to treat him or her, or when your fridge spoils and you can't afford to buy a new one all because Domlek keeps having uncontrolled power outages due to the government failure to purchase new generators almost two years after purchasing the company. I'm not wishing any of these unfortunate circumstances on anyone but what you do not want for yourself, you should not want it for your neighbor. Put the blame where it lies. Despite the state of the economy, look at how many assets and properties that the Prime Minister and his cabal owns right here in Dominica and elsewhere. For a Prime Minister who businessman Suki Winston helped to buy his very first car to now be the richest Prime Minister in the Caribbean more than Gaston Brown who already had millions from his family fortune before entering politics. Don't you see that something is wrong? How did he earn all this? Was it from his monthly salary? Was it from undeclared gifts that he received under the table or was it from kickbacks and CBI passport sales diverted to offshore bank accounts? Your guess is as good as mine. Just look at the CBI agents who are selling the state sacred citizenship and using the gains to purchase state lands to build their personal hotels for which the state benefits nothing from the profits. Remember the lands where Kempinski, Intercontinental is and the old public works was. Also, the many others who use monies from the sale of the state citizenship to fund their private hotels and investments and keep all the profits. Yet we are in this predicament. Just visit this page https colon slash slash www.cbu.gov.dm slash dominica dot 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 slash a u-t-h-o-r-i-s-e-d agents, and you shall see them. Dominica belongs to all of us. We are responsible for the future we give our children and grandchildren. Laborites, Freedomites, UW Pites, all I ask is that we come together and put country first before party. It's high time we swallow our pride, let's unite and join the efforts to rescue this precious gem called Dominica.